Hello everyone and welcome to this video. As you guys can see, this is part 3 of my Game Maker Studio 5 Nights at Freddy's tutorial. And what we're going to be making in this part is doors. And uh, you might think that I promised last time we were going to make the shade on this episode, but that will be next episode because some guy asked if I could make, make doors quickly and, you know, I'm just going to do that. Just to make that person happy. So uh, everything I've imported is just a, sp a door sprite, pretty much just being a door closing. So that looks somewhat like this, and I'm just going to test. Yeah, it's recording correctly. Great. And then um, yeah, and then I have also uh, imported a button sprite, pretty much just being a button with like two images, one where it's on and one where it's off. And uh, what we're going to be making is, we're going to make two different doors. One right here and one right here. But the one right here should also be cloned so that it is both here and here. And uh, the buttons should constantly be synchronized and the door should constantly be synchronized. So that you won't be able to see that it's two different doors, but it looks like it's one. So, um, yeah, let's get started by making the door object. And let's call it obj underscore door 1. And this is going to be the door in the front. So this one is going to be pretty easy to make. We're just going to take the sprite door. And then what we start by doing is just going to the create event. And writing um, image speed equals 0. And this pretty much just does so that the door won't constantly open and close. Because it stops it from animating. And I'm sorry about the background noise. It's just because I'm... Recording while my, my, my family is at home, and I'm usually not doing that, but now I am, so I hope it's not too loud. Um, and after we've done this, we also have to make another variable uh, called state. Uh, it really doesn't matter what it's called, it's not a built in one, it's just one we're making right now. And we can st start by setting this to zero. And this pretty much just means that when it's at zero, the door is. Um, open and when it's at 1 it's closed. So just to remember it we can write it right here and um, 0 equals open and uh, 1 equals closed. And then um, when we have written this we can go under the step event because in here we have to make the animations. So what we're going to do in here is we're going to test if state is equal to 0 it is going to also test if image index is higher than zero and if that's the case it's going to say image index minus minus and what this pretty much does is if it tests if the door is supposed to be open and if it is supposed to be open it tests uh, if the image uh, index pretty much meaning the a frame or whatever, this is image index 0 and this is 1 and 2 and 3 and if that is not equals to 0 it's pretty much just going to uh, take 1 away from uh, from image index until it gets down to 0 and this will pretty much make the door animate nicely and we're going to do the same thing with 1 but instead of saying if it's less than 5 because there are 5 images so if it's less than 5, we're going to say image index plus plus. And um, yeah, now this technically works, but we have no way of changing the state. And we will need a button for that. So we are going to create an obj underscore button 1. And uh, this button is also going to have two states. Uh, pretty much just being closed and open too. So it's going to set state equals to 0 and we don't have to write anything here. And also image speed to 0. And um, what the button is pretty much going to do is, it's on that step event, it's just going to set its um, image index to its state. And um, that pretty much just means so that when the state is equal to 1, it's going to be this frame. And when it's equal to 0, it's going to be this frame. And uh, then you can see if the button is on or off. And um, this just pretty much takes care of that. And what we're also going to do is we're going to do so that when you click on it, so we're going to say mouse left pressed, 
and when we click on this button we are going to say if a state is equal to zero then we are going to set the state equals to one and this is just the easiest way of writing this and uh, you may think that this is going to work but it's not because right now it's running through the code code from uh, line 1 to line 2 so this means that it's going to say if state is equal to 0 and if that's true it's going to set it to 1 and now down here at line 2 it's going to test if state is equal to 1 then it's going to set it to 0 but what this means is even if it was 0 up here it's going to set it to 1 and then right after because it now it's 1 set it back to 0 so what we have to do up here is either do this Pretty much just add an exit like this because then it uh, quits the code if this uh, runs just so that it won't be able to go down to line 3 it will pretty much just stop right here but what I'd like to do is instead of uh, making an extra line just making a semicolon up here and then doing this because then it's going to work the same way it's going to stop right here and in my opinion the code looks way nicer instead of having to make an extra line so um, yeah but now we also have to make sure that the state from the button gets transferred over to the door because right now we have two different variables one for, for the button and one for the door and they do not speak together so what we're going to do right here is when we set the state um, to 1 down here we're going to say um, yeah we shouldn't do anything of that but down here we're going to say obj underscore door 1 dot state equals state and what this does is just whenever you click it it's also going to set the door state to the same thing as the button state so let's just try putting this into the night one room and you should probably turn down the snap up here just because it's way too big so I'm just going to set it to 10 and now I think we should be able to place the door correctly or maybe not okay let's just does it look right yeah I think it looks correct so let's put the button right here and now let's play the game and I should probably speak just so that you can't hear the background noise but whatever uh, so now we're right here and as you can see it apparently does not work I don't know I'm just going to figure out what I did wrong this should work but let's just I'll be right back and I figured out what the problem is and um, because it exits up here it never runs the code down here so uh, what we have to do is pretty much just remove this I thought that this would be smart but it's not so instead what we're going to do is just write else right here and do this because then this down here will only run if this up here cannot run and uh, it will pretty much work the same as before but now this code down here will run too so now it should work it was just because I forgot that it exited <laughs> and uh, when you use the exit you of course can't have any code below it so as you can see right now it works perfectly so yeah but um, currently we have only to work with this door over here and it does not work with the basement door so let's just quickly make the basement door too and we are just going to duplicate this object because that's easier and call it obj underscore door 2 and then we're also going to duplicate this button and call it obj underscore button 2 and uh, what we are going to change with this is just door 2 right here and now this should technically work but we I think we have a little problem because I can just quickly show you and um, let's just take the door, door 2 and insert it right here yeah that's fine you can put it more precise if you want to that doesn't really matter so like that and let's also not forget the button and it's very important it has to look in exactly the same position so I'm just going to put it at right this uh, grid where the red thing starts and I'll, I'll be able to remember it's one out and then where the red thing starts and so like this and uh, yeah that's just so that it will look right when you turn around new game yes 
and as you can see this looks pretty great and uh, I can also open and close this but as you can see right here we have two buttons right now and yeah this is kind of glitchy because the buttons do not synchronize so what we're going to do is we're going to say here when you press on it in instead of just running it with only the object itself we're going to say with obj underscore button 2 oh I just yeah and uh, now it's going. this code is going to be run at every single button 2 so not just this button 2 but it's pretty much just going to synchronize and do it with all button 2's in the entire room and this means oh I just <laughs> yeah there we go and this pretty much means that now it looks perfect and it works perfectly so um, yeah I think that was pretty easy to understand and um, yeah thanks for watching that was the, that for this episode so remember to like if you liked it and write in the comments what you want for the next episode even though I think I'm going to make the next episode the shader effect so bye guys